Hi everyone, it's Mike with Launcher Startup and in today's video I want to talk to you about finding top selling products for your Shopify store and this is my $10,000 a month strategy that I used when I first found my product and what I used to find new products and open up new Shopify stores. So I want to teach you kind of my secrets or kind of the process that I go when I try to look, look for a product and I feel like a lot of people get stuck on this and I think it'll give you guys some valuable information and how to find new products that are out there, products that are already working for other companies, um, kind of how to f uh, spy on your competitors and see what's best selling for them, and then how to validate your own product uh, to see if it's a hot selling product. So let's jump right into it. So the very first thing I like to do is go into AliExpress and just check out their best selling products. So you could go to weekly best selling um, or their hot products and you just click that and you just take a look. You can kind of just take a look and see if there's something that kind of interests you or something that you've seen that you feel like you can turn into a niche or um, kind of find and, and tweak it into your own brand. So if you can if you see something here that you're like, hmm, there, there, there's a good idea here in which I know I can um, target an untapped market, an untapped niche that would like this certain product. So just keep looking around. Uh, but this is one of the top, for, very first thing that I do when I'm looking. So I'm either here on the hot, hot products or I'm here in the weekly best selling. So you can come down and just keep scrolling, check different things out, see what's good, see what's not, see if, just see if there's anything that catches your interest. I mean, something like this, I think I've seen something like this around and it's been selling really popular. Um, I've seen a few Instagram ads or actually just some influencers that are doing something like this. But click into it, um, take a look at it. So something like this is selling for $6.95. You could tell just by the picture this is a picture that you can use later on. I mean, obviously I cut out the brand, but just take a look at that. Like the, it looks pretty high quality. When you, when you make your website, you wanna make sure they're high quality pictures. That is what convince a customer that they wanna make the purchase through your site. And when you're dealing, and when you're trying to create a brand and trying to separate yourself from other people that are just throwing the same exact product online, you want to go in there and on your website offer the 30-day money-back guarantee. Offer the free shipping because here if you're shipping domestically U.S. to another U.S. state, it's only 2 or $3. So why not cover that or add that onto the additional cost of this? So something like this, you could sell for $24.95. Say there's a 30-day money-back guarantee and say um, shipping is included. Things like that is what's going to separate you as a brand to everybody else that might be either drop shipping this product or just selling this um, on Shopify. So you just you want to distinguish yourself from them. And then say you find products like this that um, another Shopify store is doing. Look at who their target market market is. Are they just aimed towards teenagers and they're marketing only towards them? So why don't you try to market sunglasses like this to um, to, to older people, maybe someone in their late 20s, and how would you go ahead and find them? How would you change up or find that niche to um, market these sunglasses to them because someone else is kind of just marketing only towards the teens that use this? You see what I'm doing there? It's just like finding that specific route in which you're going to market this product for. Um, just don't, I mean, guys, don't, don't reinvent the wheel. Do what's working and just kind of look around and just see what uh, everyone else is doing and what, what they're being successful with. But something like this for $6.95, you can easily sell for $20 to $30. Um, and there's that perceived value when you price something. And we, I, I could talk, that, talk about that in another, in another video. But the way th there could be two products that made from the same manufacturer and the same type of quality, but because one is priced at $20 and another one's priced at $50, $50 that customer has this perceived value that it's worth a lot, so there should be a little bit of higher quality, and you're gonna offer all these things like better customer service. You're gonna provide your phone number. Um, you're going to provide a, a shipping packet, so you're saying thank you for making this purchase. You wanna give them that experience because now they paid $50. You wanna give them 
uh, money back guarantee, 30 day money back guarantees and free shipping because they're paying this for $50 and they get that perceived value that it's higher quality and people don't want to waste their money on a $15, $20 knowing that this company is just going to send them a, a worthless product and then they won't have a chance to ship it back or there's no customer service. Customers are willing to pay for things like that and that's what you need to take advantage of. So if you go back, as you're, as you're browsing, you can just kind of search different things. Um, so say you found like sunglasses, so you want to go to sunglasses, type that in. What you want to do here is you want to go to orders and you want to rank it by orders. So you can see here like this, you know, 53,595 people or 595 total orders on this specific glass, glass sunglasses, or you, you know, the, the, Doing this route, you can just kind of see what's being ordered by the uh, from the supplier and seeing what's a hot demand product. And then you can figure out um, the creative part is trying to be creative in how you're going to market it and how you're going to brand it. Are you going to brand it as a sport type sunglasses? Are you going to brand it as a luxury type brand? Um, or are you going to brand it as like a really cheap brand so you're getting really good high quality sunglasses but for really cheap you know you're getting it for $9.99 I wouldn't never play the price game um, you'll never win at that game someone will always go cheaper so what do you do is you provide value to the customers and you develop trust so that's one of my ways um, another way that I like to do is I like to go on to Instagram pages so this is just something you can search you can go to like men's fashion men's hairstyle, so I don't even know, men, like, even like men's humor, so anything. So like hats like this, you can see, you can see what's selling well. So like this, dad brand apparel hats are 15% off, so you know that like these types of hats are doing really well. So dad hats, that's something you can find and we'll, go, we'll even go into their page. See, see how they're just marketing, they have 82,000 83,000 followers. We'll, we'll even go into their website. Just look at their brand. You know, this really does look, I'm going to scroll down and see. Powered by Shopify. Exactly what I thought. This brand is powered by Shopify. But look at their, their photos. It's pretty, looks pretty high quality. They're selling these hats for $27. Look at that. So like just browsing on Instagram and looking at other people's pages, there's a lot of people that are using influencer marketing to sell their products and to get it off the ground and making money right away. So something like this. So, I mean, look at this dad brand. They're selling it for $27 a pop. They make you, you know, they look legitimate. Free shipping on orders over $40. International, they have to be over $60. Um, you know, they, they, they just, it just looks like, a, it looks like a good website. But, I mean, I'll go over here into Alibaba and type in dad hats. And like you can see, they're, you know, $1.50 for to $7.50. That's how much they're selling for. I mean, you can see more expensive hats, but dad hats, look at that. They're make they're making a good they're making a good amount of money if they're buying it for five to six dollars and then selling it for twenty-seven. Um, and what's what you don't know is like these these pictures right here are just examples from the supplier. You know, if you hire a graphic designer. You go on uh, Craigslist or you go on Fiverr.com or you, you just kind of look for a graphic designer and you can have them design, make these like custom designs for you that you think that no one else has and something that you might think are interesting to that specific market you want to brand to. And then you can tell your manufacturer, any one of these manufacturers right here, to put that there. You can really do that. It is that simple. So you don't have to just take what um, the pictures that you see and, um, and, and use that like those are your only options that is not true so with, especially with something like this on hats they do custom work so there's custom like there's custom work that you can do in all of these and all these manufacturers can handle that type of custom customization so take advantage of that just because you see uh, dad hats like this and you think you can come up with better designs or like something that's even funnier to your market, you know, like you can make one specifically to working out and just have like funny working out taglines. You can do that. That's a market to hit. So now like, like 
I mean, right then and there, 10 minutes into this, and I think this is a good idea. I think this is a great product. Dad hats are in, and you can create and put logos um, or designs that you feel like would, would be a hit to that specific market. So that's this is another way of doing it. Really just take a look at Instagram and just be creative in what you're searching for and you'll find plenty of pages. Like page, if, you don't, if you change your mindset and how you're searching on um, Instagram, you'll find that everyone is doing some type of influencer marketing or trying to use that as a way to uh, sell their products and get it out there. So like right then and there, we found a Shopify website called Dad Brand Apparel. Um, <clears throat> another way that I also like to go just to kind of figure out what other products you want to go on to Amazon, Amazon bestsellers. And just take a look. Um, I steer away from electronics. I don't like selling electronics. One, because they could be heavy. Um, I, there's just a lot of things that could go wrong with electronics. You have to deal with warranties. You have to deal with them getting a product and it, and it not working. Um, and then with technology, it's always changing. Everyone's trying to get the latest thing. So if you get your latest, um, even look at this, the Echo Dot. There's already a new version of the Echo Dot or you know the Echo that's out there. Um, so it's just hard to keep selling something long term for electronics because things can go wrong with it. There's no warranties and um, the, the technology is always growing and getting better that you cannot catch up to it, especially if you're just starting off on e-commerce and Shopify. Do, just steer clear away from electronics. So just keep scrolling down, take a look, see if there's anything that catches your eye. Um, I like this dinosaur. I'm sure this inflatable costume is selling well because it's Halloween. So think of seasonal things. Um, if you Google, well, let's Google T-Rex inflatable costume. So they're selling it for $50 here. So we'll go to Alibaba and type T-Rex inflatable costume. You can see that they're selling for $19 to $25. So these guys are doubling uh, the cost and are making $25 a pop on this. And obviously it might be it's too late to take advantage of it now because of um, Halloween coming right around the corner. I would maybe get into something else if you want to make a quick buck and try to, try to get things out there. Um, go into ugly Christmas sweaters. So... That's something you can get into. Um, if you want to try and compete and try to create a brand, you can do that. You know, they're selling for $7, 12, $7 to $12. That's a product I guarantee it'll sell. If you find unique products, they can make custom pro uh, custom designs for you. And then you can kind of just get it going and get it selling and then just, just kind of get a feel. But I guarantee if you go into ugly Christmas sweaters, there's a lot of competition but I guarantee you will still make your money from what you invested and you will profit during that Christmas season time if you go through this process and then go through influencer marketing. I will guarantee you that you will make at least two to $3,000, just an extra two to $3,000 over the holidays. And then you can use that as an experience to learn. And then later on, when you find another product, you can kind of go from there. But I guarantee you can sell ugly Christmas sweaters online this Christmas season, and it's a good time to start right now, especially since it's in October. Um, <clears throat> and then my last one is just like a little hack that I like to do to spy on my competitors. And what I like to do is I go to myip.ms, and you type in here the website IP address of Shopify, and guess what it does? It shows you all the websites that are hosted through Shopify. So the number one best selling website or like the most the high the highest traffic website is something like colorpop.com or gymshark.com. So like a website like this we'll go into here. gymshark.com is powered by Shopify and these guys are a multi-million dollar company that uses um, influencer marketing online, similar to like that LiveFit company. So like I want you to see here, um, I know I showed maybe in a previous video like LiveFit and you might think like apparel brand for fitness is oversaturated, but there's still multiple, 
businesses that are doing well. And how do they do this? They find a specific niche and they advertise or they market specifically to them in a way that others don't. So take advantage of that being a small company that you can, um, you can market to a specific niche that is being underserved by bigger, uh, bigger brands. So, I mean, obviously like the top, I don't know, the, the top like six, seven pages are, are like brands or like really high up there, uh, high traffic um, Shopify websites. But if you go over here to like page eight, um, you'll start seeing other websites that are just regular Shopify websites that just get a lot of traffic and you can see what they are selling. So like Hoodie Boss. You can kind of see what they're selling. They're selling these types of hoodies. And I guarantee you can find something like this on Alibaba or AliExpress. They're selling it for $41.99. And if you can find things like this, if they're getting high traffic, that means there's high demand for it. And you can get into this space if you think that there is a specific niche that's being underserved or they're not selling to a specific brand or niche that you feel like is a, a good opportunity okay so this is just a quick video I just wanted to kind of show you like some tactics of what I do when I do go through my research phase of looking for a product um, I'll include this link in the description so that you can go and take a look and just kind of spy on other uh, Shopify uh, websites so definitely use that please you guys don't reinvent the wheel just, you, you know, see what other people are doing successfully, try to imitate it, not directly copy, but imitate it, and then just tweak it in a certain way that you can serve a specific niche and find that opportunity to sell. That's it. That's all there is to it. And then create a brand around it where you can develop a trust and value to your customers, which will make them choose you over any other company that's just trying to put up a quick website and then you can kind of tell who is more of a company and who is there just trying to make quick money. So those are just some of my quick tactics I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment. I, uh, I'll reply back. I'm still trying to do daily uploads. Subscribe, um, and then we'll kind of go from there. So I hope you guys have a great day.